So how much leeway did you have in fleshing out uh, the character Thanos? More than I thought I'd have, because when I got into this, I didn't really know what to expect beyond what Ruffalo had told me, because he's been a friend for a long time. So I called him, and I was like, like, what is this whole thing, and what is it? Is it all mocap, or is it a rendit? You know, so I, I was really kind of in the dark. And what it reminded me of was just kind of like a, you know, New York City, Lower East Side, black box theater. And I was, it was full, you, so left to your own imagination. And then the Russos coming in and having like Godfather references or, you know, Goodfellow references and all that. It was great. I just got it. It just got really comfortable for me. And so we were able to riff a little bit. We were able to, I think it developed differently than what we all had imagined in the beginning, them much more than me. And what we came up with was, you know, I, I think uh, all of our input. And as an actor, uh, such an amazing character, what did you want to bring to the character? I have n nothing I ever want to bring. I just want to do justice to the story and to the character. And I know that there's a lot of anticipation around this character, and there's a lot of, you know, is he going to get it right? Is he going? I don't really feel any of that stuff. You know, w once I get into it, I know things kind of, you know, they become the, the trajectory of figuring out a character. It kind of has its own life. So I just try and follow that, you know, to whatever's happening day, day, day after the day. The natural path, right? Yeah. The natural path. Um, yeah, my intentions, I want to make sure he's this, or I want to make sure, I never had that. No. Um, over the years, we've seen snippets of Thanos. Like, you get a little tease, a little tease, all of a sudden now it's gonna be wide open Thanos. Uh, what do you think about it? 36 minutes of Thanos. Yeah. What um, do you think the audience is gonna get? I don't know, man. I know they're going to get a ride. Having not seen it before, having seen snippets beyond what everybody else has seen, I think it's pretty spectacular what I've seen. I think that's what Ruffalo had told me. He said, you know, you're going to be uncomfortable, embarrassed. It's, it's totally, it's unorthodox. It's like, you're, it, there's no familiarity with what you're going to do other than maybe being in a black box theater. And, uh, and he said, and then you'll see it, and it will be mind-blowing. So what I've seen so far, which isn't even complete, is mind-blowing. That's the Marvel experience, right? That's, That's the, the Marvel experience. Um, um, That's what, what you hope for. Yeah, of course. I and mean. for some reason, they're really good at delivering, so. Yeah, they got it. They got yeah. it. They got good a, thing going. They got a good thing they going. They got a good thing going. <laughs> um, Smart guys. What makes Thanos uh, MCU's biggest, greatest villain? Well, I mean, that's going to be up for interpretation. What I like about Thanos is he's he's this, you know, guy who is presented in one way, and then the reality of him, I think, is a lot deeper than what people are expecting. And uh, so we'll see. We'll see if he's just the villain. We'll see if he's likable and from some perspectives. We'll see if people understand his intention from other perspectives and all that. I think it's all up for interpretation, which I think makes it pretty exciting. You've already mentioned your directors, uh, yeah. the references that they brought. Uh, tell us about the Russos. Oh, man, the Russos were great. For me, having gone, you know, kind of hopping into this and not knowing what to expect, I needed somebody like the Russos because they come from you know, smaller stories, they come from their extreme talent, obviously. They know structure very well. They understand how to get people going individually. So what works for Downey or what works for Hemsworth may not be what works for me. And, or maybe it does, I just got it. I don't know if I got it the most, but when they would bring up references, I ju it just snapped me right into this place that, that uh, worked, at least what I, I think worked, worked for me. I hope it works in the movie. Um, in, in one word, what do you think? Can, can you give us a one word description of Affinity Wars? One word, exp not expletive, but. Uh. Um, one word? They're asking for one word. Beyond. Good word, good word. Um, and then lastly, what do you think audiences are gonna expect to see in this film? I think they're gonna expect an ultimate delivery and I think they're gonna get it. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, Is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey! hey.